Zhang Jike was one of the greatest athletes of all time. But what happened? Today we're gonna check out the video of how Zhang Jike went from national hero to scumbag overnight. We'll find out what happened. Because I, I, for me, I actually don't know. It's gonna be very interesting to find out. Uh, you guys have told me a lot about his story. Uh, and today I have a couple of videos to check out to actually find out what happened. In what could be one of the biggest scandals of the year, Chinese Olympic gold medalist Zhang Ziker was shunned by all after allegedly sharing intimate videos of his former girlfriend to pay off his gambling debt. But how did he turn from national hero to scumbag? Is um, it seems like a lot of the ex-Chinese players have have this problem. Is gambling that big in China? On February 16, 1988, Zhang was born in Qingdao, Shandong Province, to Zhang Chuanming and Su Xiaoying. His father is a table tennis coach. He was named after the Brazilian soccer coach Zico. According to his father, the first time Zhang played table What the hell? That that's that's the information I've been after Zico? Okay. Tennis was on March 5th, Out of all coaches. <laughs> 1992 at the age of 4. Overall, he holds 3 Olympic golds as well as 7 world titles, making him a table tennis star recognized not only in China but around the world as well. He is the fastest player ever to complete a Grand Slam. In 2017, Fact. Zhang was ranked as the second richest sports star in China with an annual income of 60 million yuan. Although he was at the top... 16 million yuan? How much is it in dollars, bro? Not Canadian, but it's 3 million Canadian. So it's like 2.2 million, which is hell, hell, hell of a money, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, hell yeah. Although he was at the top of his field for many years, he has had to retire due to persisting injuries. Zhang announced his relationship with actress Jing Tian in March 2018, confirming many months of speculation. The couple comfortably dated in public and openly showed affection towards each other on social media. Zhang even attended the birthday party of Jing's mother, and their relationship seemed solid. Just as the couple was looking like they were about to seal the deal, rumors of separation started to circulate earlier in 2019 after fans noticed that Zhang had gotten rid of a tattoo that was dedicated to Jing. Damn. On Valentine's Day 2019, he told fans that won't be celebrating it and removed Jing from his profile portrait. Do you not understand now? He asked his fans. In May of the same year, at the Cannes Film Festival, Jing confirmed to reporters that she is no longer in a relationship. While the ex-couple never explained about the reason behind the split, rumors say that Zhang's father did not approve of Jing due to her background in entertainment. Other reports claimed the split was due to the fact that the two argued constantly. Old and traditional, okay. But the truth seems to be darker than we think as exposed by award-winning journalist Li Weiao who broke the news on Weibo on the 30th of March, 2023. The journalist had discovered that Zhang owed a creditor 5 million yuan, a loan Zhang allegedly took to settle his gambling debt. Li said he had been investigating Zhang's debts since 2020 after meeting the table tennis player's creditor in the central city of Wuhan. He was later told by some local friends that a man, identified only as S, had lent Zhang a large amount of money and was trying to collect the debt. Zhang reportedly told the creditor that he had joint property with the actress. The creditor later sent the video to Zhang, threatening her to repay Zhang's debts, according to Li's WeChat post. But the actress took the creditor to court, where Zhang reportedly testified and confessed that he had sent the videos. Following the trial, Mr. S was sentenced to seven years in prison for extortion and fined 50,000 yuan. Zhang's team posted a statement on Weibo denying the rumors. Zhang does not have any debt dispute, and there is no case of compromising someone's privacy to protect himself. The rumors are pure fabrication, Zhang's team wrote in the statement. Zhang's attorney also released a statement saying an investigation has been started to collect evidence and would file a lawsuit. In response to Zhang's statement, we posted a loan contract that shows the borrower's name as Zhang and the loan amount of 5 million yuan. While he was investigated, he was never arrested. The reason being there is no evidence to support the claim that he sent the videos to Mr. S with the intention of extorting money from Jing Tian. The man who broke this is not your run-of-the-mill melon account, so there is no way he didn't do thorough research. With a stellar career spanning back to 2003 and multiple prestigious awards in the media and journalism industry, his word carries weight. Despite Zhang refuting all accusations, brands weren't taking any chances. 
Those that were endorsing Makes the sense. 35-year-old athlete quickly announced an end to their cooperation, including Anta, Toyota, and Chinese nutrition firm Newland, while others that had previously worked with him like Safeguard and InnoHerb scrubbed related promotional materials from their social media feeds. Shang was brand ambassador for more than five brands and was being paid to attend events not to mention all his other income streams. So how could one of China's highest earning sports stars be failing to pay a debt to the point of using nudes and sex tapes to get off the hook? Well, for one he is a habitual gambler who kept losing until he had accumulated a large debt then took a loan to cover that debt. Another thing is that since his retirement he hasn't been earning the amount of money he could have been earning if he was actively competing in sports competitions. The failure of a beverage brand he launched in 2018 has also left him with major financial difficulties as reported by various Chinese media outlets. Apparently, he has been a gambler for many years. In 2004, he made headlines at just 16 years old when a sports newspaper wrote about his love for gambling. The article claims that he borrowed a bank card in 2004? Media outlets. Apparently, he has been a gambler for many years. In 2004, he made headlines at just 16 years old when a sports newspaper wrote about his love for gambling. <laughs> the article claims that he borrowed a bank card from a team Bro's made of his to participate in a game with a gambling nature. However, he lost money, so to save face, he left the team in the middle of the competition. In 2015, while in Germany for a sports tournament, he was spotted sneaking off to a casino in the area. Following his expose, Bro's numerous insiders, including blogger Wang Laowu without diamonds and former Cena Entertainment editor Lu Xueding, corroborated Li Weiao's claims. Wang Laowu without diamonds confirmed that Zhang owed actress Jing Tian a substantial sum, while Lu Xueding expressed relief that the truth had finally surfaced. Entertainment figure Zhang Xiaohan further exposed Zhang's actions, shedding light on Jing Tian's attempts to expose him in the past. Additionally, chat records involving actresses Dang Sha and Jing Tian emerged, revealing that Zhang had borrowed money from other celebrities, including retired athletes Tian Liang and Yuan Shan Shan. Notably, rumors damn. circulated that Yuan show. Shan Shan purported. Sorry, so, so sorry, I got, I got distracted. Goddamn. Jeez. Zhang's ex girlfriend had lent him money, which, if true, would explain their financial transactions. Jing Tian, who was in a relationship with Zhang from March 2018 to June 2019, had trusted him with money to buy a house thinking they would get married only for him to allegedly sell the house and use the money to pay more debts. However, leading to their breakup. Jing Tian openly discussed her ordeal on a variety show, revealing the profound impact of the situation on her life and how 2019 was one of the darkest period of her life. Yeah, no this shit. revelation shattered Zhang's idol image, exposing a darker side to his character. Gambling is not his only problem. On March 1, 2012, Ma Long and Zhang faced off in the men's singles final at the Asian Championships 2012. Ma Long displayed exceptional skills, winning the game in four straight sets. However, after the match, Zhang surprised the table tennis world by avoiding shaking hands with Ma Long. In a post-game interview, Zhang explained that he didn't shake hands intentionally, as he was still absorbed in the match details. He later apologized on his Weibo account, attributing his actions to being too engrossed in the game. Whether he genuinely forgot or was upset about his loss remained unclear. In 2014, Zhang had a rematch with Ma Long and emerged victorious this time. However, his celebration turned controversial when he kicked barricades, broke barriers, and threw his shirt into the audience. The International Table Tennis Federation ITTF, fined him 45,000 euros for his misconduct, souring his triumph. Beyond his on-court behavior, Zhang faced allegations of mistreating women in his relationships. He, he does, reportedly I did never like him, but holy shit, this is too much, man. ...advantage of his Olympic success, exhibiting arrogant behavior and demanding gifts and favors from his partners. This attitude extended to his professional life, where he displayed a negative demeanor during brand advertisements. Believing he held immense influence, he charged exorbitant prices for endorsements and participation in variety shows. However, his reputation suffered a significant blow when all his brand partnerships ended, tarnishing what could have been a remarkable legacy. Last we heard he was under investigation but the damage to his reputation and finances has already been done so it doesn't matter if he is cleared because according to our esteemed journalist Shang already admitted to showing his creditor Jing Tian's videos which is inexcusable. What do you think of this case? Let me know Damn, down in crazy. the comments.
That's a great video, by the way. Chinese starlet. Only 8,000 views, but the video is awesome. Awesome, awesome video. That was one more. Welcome to China Insider. This is, I guess, more political this stuff. This is Zhang Jike. Once China's top ping pong player is now in very hot water. Zhang Jike lost a lot of money from his gambling addiction, and instead of solving his issues, he allegedly sent private and intimate photos and videos of a former girlfriend and actress Jing Tian to a debt seeker, who then tried to extort money from the actress but went to jail. This was exposed over the weekend, leading to a massive internet storm in China. A seemingly social issue involving a pro athlete's personal scandal is quickly becoming a political one. So why does this story matter? Uh, yeah. What does it mean for the Communist Party's power? Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our... Who is Zhang Jike? Well, if you're a fan of ping pong, you probably know Zhang Jike for his athleticism. Zhang Jike became the fourth male player in the history of table tennis to achieve a career grand slam when he won gold in the Olympic Games in London in 2012. Others know him now as a playboy gambling addict. His rise to the pinnacle of ping playboy. pong was <laughs> with bad sportsmanship and a decade-long gambling problem. After the initial scandal went public, more investigation revealed that this is not the first time Zhang Jiku has been... His gambling addiction had lost him more money, far more than that 9 million US dollar worth of deal that he was getting. So far, actress Jing Tian... The How can you lose 10 out. million, Allegedly, bro? Allegedly, more than six different women may have been affected, according to Chinese state media. And according to reporter Li at Total, which is the Chinese media, this isn't a simple case of leaking private videos and photos of former lovers. It's a massive debt trap scandal. Now, of course, it's huge and problematic, and it could bring shame for the Chinese Communist Party. We'll talk about that later. Now, Li, according to this investigative reporter, That's crazy. showed a photo of Zhang Jike's $5 million loan contract, which has a monthly interest of 1.99% if it is not paid fully after 25 days. Uh, with that being said, according to the calculation, after the late return of the principal amount, which is that 5 million, the monthly interest will accumulate nearly 100,000 yuan per month, which will be a yearly interest of nearly 1.2 million yuan. And of course, that annual interest will amount to something like 24%. Now, that's a high interest loan, and exchanging that to US dollars would still be about 700,000 US dollars in loan with a monthly interest rate of 1.99%, which totals to be about $14,000 monthly just in interest. And so in a year, that's almost 24% right, so interest, which is about 100. So 16 million wasn't, oh yeah, it was correct, it was correct. Thousand uh, dollars that he has to pay. Now, according to the news after it broke out of the scandal, uh, many Chinese media went crazy publishing and digging around the history of his gambling addiction, losing money, and being a playboy. Meanwhile, the Chinese Communist Party is eyeing this as a potential disaster for its power. Zhang Jike could bring about a storm of anti-corruption and a campaign against problematic behaviors in the athletic and sports industry. Let me explain. Just three days before the news, on March 27th, the Chinese government's sports director general said he will carry out a mobile inspection of the party group of the State General Administration of Sports, and the goal is to crack down on corruption problems and deep-rooted institutional... Yeah, this is, this is kind of too political. I don't want to get into too political. I don't know anything about China. Okay, so... Damn, this was a lot. Jeez. I wanted to make, like, a, a more, I guess, positive video on Zhang Jike about his playing career. But when I saw this video, I was like, I got to make a video about this. This was very interesting. So let me know what you think. Because we had uh, not only Zhang Jika had probably gambling debt. You also told me about uh, Con Li Kui. Con Li Kui. Hello, yes, sir. Con Li Kui. Con Li Kui had de uh, debt problems as well. So it's, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, man. Uh, well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support on Robert WTT video. And thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Peace.